Welcome back to Network Intelligence and Analysis, where we explore the fascinating world of cyber security and digital warfare. Today, we are diving deep into the annals of history to unveil the most notorious cyber attacks that have rocked the digital landscape. What are cyber attacks? Cyber attacks are malicious activities or actions carried out by individuals, groups, or organizations using computer systems, networks, or digital devices to compromise, disrupt, or gain unauthorized access to computer systems, data, or information. These attacks are typically aimed at causing harm, stealing valuable information, or gaining control over computer systems for various purposes. This includes financial gains, espionage, or political motives. Cyber attacks can take many forms and can target individuals, businesses, governments, or other entities. Types of Cyber Attacks Some common types of cyber attacks include viruses. Viruses are programs that attach themselves to legitimate software or files and can replicate when the infected software or file is executed. They can corrupt data, spread to other systems, and often require user action to initiate. Worms Worms are self-replicating malware that can spread across networks without user interaction. They can consume network resources, slow down systems, and sometimes carry payloads that are harmful. Email phishing Attackers send fraudulent emails that appear to come from reputable sources, often with urgent messages to take recipients into clicking on malicious links or downloading infected attachments. Spear phishing A targeted form of phishing where attackers tailor their messages to specific individuals or organizations using information gathered from social media or other sources to make the emails more convincing. DOS attacks Attackers flood a target system with a high volume of traffic or requests, overwhelming its resources and making it inaccessible to legitimate users. DDoS attacks These involve multiple compromised devices, often part of a botnet, coordinated to launch a massive attack, making it even more challenging to mitigate. SQL injections Attackers exploit vulnerabilities in poorly coded web applications that don't validate or sanitize user input. They inject malicious SQL queries to access, manipulate, or delete data in the application's database. Man in the middle attacks In a man in the middle attack, an attacker intercepts communication between two parties, often without their knowledge. This can occur on unsecured Wi Fi networks or by compromising network infrastructure. The attacker can eavesdrop or even modify the data being transmitted. Zero-day exploits Zero-day vulnerabilities are unknown to software developers, so there are no patches or fixes available. Attackers discover and exploit these vulnerabilities before they are discovered and mitigated by the software vendor. Ransomware Ransomware encrypts a victim's files or entire system and the attacker demands a ransom, usually in cryptocurrency, for the decryption key. Paying the ransom is discouraged because it doesn't guarantee the safe return of data. Social Engineering Attackers use psychological manipulation or deception to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information or performing actions that compromise security. This can include pretexting, creating a fabricated scenario to obtain information, or baiting, enticing victims into clicking on malicious links. Insider Threats Insiders with authorized access to systems or data can pose a significant risk. These threats may be accidental, such as an employee mishandling data or malicious, where an employee intentionally leaks sensitive information or engages in sabotage. Internet of Thing Attacks Vulnerabilities and IoT devices can be exploited to gain control over them. These devices often lack strong security measures and can be used as entry points into larger networks. Brute Force Attack Attackers systematically try every possible combination of passwords or encryption keys until they find the correct one. This method can be time-consuming but is effective against weak or easily guessable passwords. Advanced Persistent Threats APTs are typically state-sponsored or highly organized attacks aimed at infiltrating and maintaining unauthorized access to a target's network over an extended period. These attackers use sophisticated techniques to remain undetected and steal sensitive information. How dangerous are cyber attacks? Cyber attacks can be highly dangerous with the level of danger varying depending on the type of attack, the target, and the attacker's intentions. Here are some reasons why cyber attacks are considered dangerous. Financial losses 
Cyber attacks can result in significant financial losses for individuals, businesses, and even entire economies. This includes direct financial theft as well as cost associated with investigating and mitigating the attack, recovering data, and implementing improved cybersecurity measures. Data breaches. Data breaches can lead to the exposure of sensitive information including personal identification data, financial records, health records, and intellectual property. This can have severe consequences such as identity theft, fraud, and reputational damage. Disruption of critical infrastructure Some cyber attacks target critical infrastructures such as power grids, water supplies, transportation systems, and healthcare facilities. Disrupting these systems can have cascading effect on public safety and well-being. National Security Threats State-sponsored cyber attacks, cyber espionage, and cyber warfare can pose significant threats to national security. Attackers may target government agencies, military systems, and critical infrastructure potentially causing political instability or physical harm. Ransomware Ransomware attacks can encrypt data and demand a ransom for its release. Victims, including hospitals and municipalities, have faced life-threatening situations when their systems are compromised, leading to delays in patient care or other critical services. Intellectual Property Theft Corporate espionage and intellectual property theft can undermine a company's competitiveness and innovation. Stolen intellectual property can be used to create a counterfeit product or gain a competitive advantage in the global market. Privacy Invasion Cyber attacks can invade an individual's or an organization's privacy. Malicious actors may gain unauthorized access to webcams, microphones, or surveillance systems, leading to surveillance and privacy violations. Social Engineering Cyber attackers often involve social engineering techniques that manipulate individuals into revealing sensitive information. This can lead to identity theft, financial fraud, and other forms of exploitation. Propagation of Misinformation Some cyber attacks involve spreading false information or disinformation, which can have far-reaching consequences, including social unrest, misinformation campaigns, and the erosion of trust in institutions. Long-term consequences The effects of a cyber attack can be long-lasting even after an attack is mitigated. Organizations may face legal liabilities, reputational damage, increased cybersecurity cost, and ongoing security challenges. Psychological impact Victims of cyber attacks can experience significant psychological distress, particularly in cases of cyberbullying, online harassment, or cyber stalking. Global reach one of the most significant dangers of cyber attacks is their global reach. Attackers can target victims in different parts of the world, often with little regard for geographic boundaries. This means that individuals, organizations, and governments can be vulnerable to attacks originating from anywhere on the planet. Proliferation of attack tools The availability of hacking tools and malware in the underground marketplace has made it easier for less skilled individuals to conduct cyber attacks. This proliferation of attack tools increases the potential for more widespread and indiscriminate attacks. Cost of Cybersecurity The cost of preventing and mitigating cyber attacks is substantial. Businesses and governments must allocate significant resources to develop, implement, and maintain robust cybersecurity measures. These costs can strain budgets and divert resources from other critical areas. State Sponsored Attacks Nation states and intelligence agencies engage in cyber espionage and cyber warfare, targeting each other's critical infrastructure, military systems, and government institutions. The potential for these attacks to escalate into real-world conflict is a serious concern. Supply Chain Vulnerabilities Cyber attacks often exploit vulnerabilities in the supply chain. Attackers may compromise suppliers or third-party service providers, allowing them to infiltrate target organizations indirectly. This tactic has been used in high-profile attacks, emphasizing the interconnectedness of digital systems. Healthcare Vulnerabilities The healthcare sector is a prime target for cyber attacks. As it stores vast amount of sensitive patient data, attacks on healthcare systems can disrupt patient care, compromise medical records, and even endanger lives in critical situations. Critical Infrastructure Vulnerabilities the dependence of critical infrastructure on digital systems such as power grids and water treatment plants make them vulnerable to cyber attacks. A successful attack on such systems could lead to widespread disruption and in extreme cases endanger lives. Rapid Evolution of Threats Cyber threats are constantly evolving. Attackers adapt to new technologies and vulnerabilities quickly. 
This means that yesterday's cyber security defenses may not be effective against today's threats, making it essential to stay ahead of attackers. Collateral damage Cyber attacks can have unintended consequences. For example, a malware attack intended for one target could inadvertently affect other organizations or individuals connected to the same network or infrastructure. Black market economy A thriving underground economy exists around cybercrime, where stolen data, hacking tools, and illicit services are bought and sold. This fuels criminal activity and incentivizes cyber attacks. Legal and ethical gray areas the complex nature of cyber attacks can create legal and ethical dilemmas. Determining jurisdiction and holding perpetrators accountable can be challenging, leading to a sense of impunity among some attackers. Long term strategic threat Cyber attacks are often used as part of a broader strategic approach by malicious actors. They can be employed to achieve geopolitical goals, exert influence, or create instability, making them a fundamental concern for national and international security. Human Error Despite robust cyber security measures, human error remains a significant contributor to cyber vulnerabilities. Phishing attacks, social engineering, and inadvertent data exposure can all result from human mistakes. Continual Innovation As technology advances, new attack vectors and vulnerabilities emerge. Emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things introduce new security challenges that required ongoing adaptation and innovation in cybersecurity practices. So, if you have ever wondered about the dark side of the digital world, you are in the right place. From nation-state espionage to shadowy hacking collectives, these stories will keep you on the edge of your seat. We will delve into the motives behind these attacks, the techniques used, and the consequences that reverberated across the globe. So, buckle up, because in this video, we will explore the 8 cyber attacks in history, revealing the strategies, the masterminds, and the aftermath of these digital assaults. WannaCry Ransomware Cyber Attack Attackers using the malware WannaCry specifically targeted Windows-based machines in May 2017. It was carried out by the WannaCry ransomware CryptoWarm, also known by other names. The ability of WannaCry to spread itself as a network worm made it special. It incorporated a transit mechanism for spreading across weak systems in order to do this. In order to acquire unauthorized access, it searched for vulnerable systems and utilized the Eternal Blue exploit. The US National Security Agency first developed Eternal Blue, which the shadow brokers exposed. The significance of this attack was that the NSA had found the flaw but hadn't informed Microsoft of it. After some time, Microsoft published security updates, but many companies neglected to install them, making them susceptible to WannaCry. Double Pulsar Another shadow broker's dump that had infected numerous systems and helped the WannaCry virus was a crucial component. When it was run, WannaCry followed a certain pattern. If a kill switch domain name was present, encryption was stopped. If the domain wasn't present, it encrypted the computer's data, tried to spread across networks using the SMB vulnerability, and did other things. WannaCry sought Bitcoin payments after successful encryption and threatened to increase charges if delays occurred. Three hard-coded Bitcoin addresses were offered for payment by the ransomware. The attack started on May 12, 2017 with first infections in Asia. It moved quickly to infect more than 230,000 computers in more than 150 different countries in less than a day. Windows XP and Windows Server 2003 were two unsupported Windows versions that were particularly vulnerable. Due to the uncertainty of data recovery, experts recommended against paying the ransom. Microsoft encouraged businesses to install security upgrades for out-of-date systems like Windows XP. The malware's initial propagation was slowed down by the identification of a kill switch domain since registering the domain stopped new infections. As a result of linguistic research of the ransom nodes, it was determined that the Chinese and English language skills were present. Some analysts discovered coding resemblance in malware connected to the Lazarus Group, a North Korean-related organization. North Korea was also mentioned in an NSA report, and the US government formally blamed them for the attack in December 2017 despite their denial. The WannaCry attack sparked international efforts to improve cybersecurity and highlighted how crucial it is to keep systems safe from emerging threats. According to Europol, the WannaCry ransomware campaign had an unparalleled size. The malware is thought to have infected some 200,000 devices in 150 different countries. 
Russia, Ukraine, India and Taiwan were deemed to be the most poor afflicted nations by Kaspersky Sky Lab. The majority of infected machines were found in these nations. The attack had a significant effect on many different industries. Due to the ransomware infestation, Nissan Motor Manufacturing UK in Tynanware, England had to stop manufacturing. Renault also halted manufacturing at a number of locations to stop the ransomware from spreading. Among the other businesses and nations impacted were FedEx, Dutch Bahn, and Telefonica of Spain. Sony Pictures Cyber Attack The comedy movie The Interview, which is due out in October 2014, had its trailer released by SPE in June 2014. The film's narrative revolved around a CIA mission to murder King Jong Un and interview him, which North Korean officials criticized as an act of war. In response to the outcry, SPE decided to postpone the film's debut until December 25, 2014, while also modifying wallet parts. A cyber attack struck SPE's network on November 24, 2014. Their sophisticated malware entered SPE's systems, bypassing antivirus software and building a backdoor into the system for recurrent access. If the GOP's demands, which were first monetary, weren't met, they threatened to disseminate stolen data. Initially refusing to abide by the request, SPE eventually temporarily shut down its infected network. It took days to fix the broken technology, which caused serious interruptions. As a result of the impact on digital operations, employees turned to manual processes. Even once network access was again available, the GOP kept a covert entry point active. They then started leaking private emails between SPE officials and workers, as well as employee records. The GOP also distributed four unpublished SPE films on digital channels. The GOP's demands change, now asking for the interview to be cancelled in exchange for an end to more data leaks. Despite North Korea's denial of involvement, media speculation about its role began. Despite the threats, SPE initially intended to distribute the movie, but on December 16, 2014, the GOP specifically called out the interviews using obscene language and 9-11 allusions. As a result, the FBI opened an inquiry and the next day's distribution of the movie was cancelled by SPE. The US government criticized SPE's decision to cancel the movie on December 19, 2014, claiming that there was no real danger. On December 23, SPE changed its mind and allowed the film to be seen at independent theaters and on video on demand services. Following the release of the movie, the GOP stopped making threats. Estonia Cyber Attacks Critical systems were the target of cyber attacks on Estonia in 2007. These attacks were of a size that experts thought was beyond the capacity of lone activists or organized crime gangs, indicating the cooperation of a state and a sizable telecom corporation. Although he questioned direct Russian government involvement, Russian hacker Sporo stated that the attacks couldn't have happened without some kind of consent or direction from the Russian authorities. The attacks were DDoS attacks using botnets, networks of compromised computers according to Mike Witt of the United States Computer Emergency Readiness Team. The attacks, according to Professor James Handler, were more like a cyber riot than a military assault. It was difficult to pinpoint which government was responsible for the strikes. Jose Nazario, a security specialist at Arbor Networks, hypothesized that various teams utilizing various distributed botnets might have taken part. Some experts voiced doubt that the bombings were a government-led plot, speculating that patriotic people or groups might have been involved. While some people thought that the Kremlin approved of the attacks or even orchestrated them, others pointed out that Russian authorities failed to apprehend the perpetrators, raising doubts about their role. Despite disagreements regarding official Russian involvement, Russian goals were eventually fulfilled by the strikes. The Estonian attack's impact on the field of cyber conflict was reviewed at a retrospective conference in 2012, along with the lessons that could be drawn from it. The attacks highlighted the dynamic nature of cyber threats and the importance of readiness and international cooperation, forcing adjustments in cybersecurity measures. NATO undertook an internal evaluation of its infrastructure defenses and cybersecurity following the assaults on Estonia in 2007 which resulted in a report distributed to the defense ministers of the Allies in October 2007. The NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence was established in May 2008 as a result of the efforts to improve NATO cyber defense capabilities. 
which were launched with the formulation of a cyber defense policy. The DDoS attack resulted in major disruption and monetary costs. Russian bias orders were cancelled as a result of supply line disruptions, which had an effect on the movement of goods and money. Unreliable connections caused direct and indirect expenses for businesses and government agencies to spending on internet-based services. Asymmetrical warfare message These cyber attacks showed the Russian Federation's capacity to harm Estonia without using conventional military or political force. The message implied that even a tiny group of hackers might cause asymmetric harm, eroding Estonians' faith in their armed forces and security systems. The Adobe Cyber Attack Adobe, known for its multimedia and creative software products, had a security breach in which confidential client data was compromised in 2013. This was one of the biggest cyber attacks in history. In the incident, which was first publicized on October 3, 2013, hackers gained access to users' encrypted passwords and user IDs. The fact that Adobe did not indicate whether all personal data, including email addresses and physical addresses, was encrypted is significant to highlight. Because Adobe's backup server used the same encryption key for all passwords, it was discovered to have inadequate security. As a result, hackers were able to access a 3.8 GB file containing 152 million usernames and weekly encrypted passwords, along with other private information like credit card numbers and account creation dates. This hack revealed vulnerabilities in Adobe's security procedures as well as the dangers of switching from desktop licenses to cloud-based services. Cyber criminals exploited these weaknesses, potentially gaining access to the computers of Adobe users. Adobe takes action to notify affected consumers of the compromise and to assist law authorities with their investigations. Due to the seriousness of the effects of this data breach, affected parties received undisclosed payments. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the importance of robust cybersecurity practices, including strong encryption techniques, early breach detection, and thorough employee training in cybersecurity. As data breaches continue to pose a significant threat, companies must remain vigilant and prepared to protect sensitive customer information. The 2013 Adobe data breach had serious, long-lasting effects on both the firm and its customers, exposing severe flaws in internet security measures and sparking worries about the protection of personal information in the digital age. Adobe took prompt action to minimize the harm by alerting affected users and resetting passwords. The event did, however, also highlight the need for more robust cybersecurity safeguards across industries. The release of Adobe's product source code, in addition to the compromise of user accounts, emphasizes how serious the incident was. This serves as a sharp reminder of the ongoing conflict between cyber criminals and cybersecurity professionals highlighting the significance of awareness and preventative security in our society that is becoming more linked. TJX Data Breach Cyber Attack Numerous brands and nations of TJX clients were impacted by the breach. Although the breach was ultimately found to have started in July 2005, it was initially thought to have happened in May 2006. The breach wasn't discovered until December 2006 and it was made public in January 2007. After the original breach was discovered, investigations turned up more incursions in 2006 and one in mid-January 2007. Data on checks, credit cards and product returns were all included in the compromised systems. As a result of TJX deleting a significant portion of the data during regular company operations and the attacker's technology making it challenging to determine the scope of the theft, the precise stolen data is still unknown. TJX was sued for the breach, spent almost $5 million on legal fees and may incur further expenses in the future, the breach highlighted. Customers and financial institutions were affected by the exposure of 45 million debit and credit card numbers. This breach resulted in considerable financial losses, albeit the amount lost is not specified. The TJX data breach had a significant and wide-ranging effect. TJX was subject to a number of demands from the Federal Trade Commission, including the appointment of a cybersecurity officer and the installation of particular security measures to guard against future attacks. Due to the severity of the breach, these safeguards had to be confirmed every year for 20 years. 
TJX also suffered major financial losses as a result of the hack, having to pay out about $41 million to Visa and $24 million to MasterCard. Additionally, the businesses were the target of legal actions brought by the Solicitors General of numerous states, adding to its financial difficulties. The NotPetya Cyber Attack In June 2017, a major global cyber attack struck initially affecting Ukrainian companies but quickly spreading to nations like France, Germany, Italy, Poland, the UK and the US. Dubbed NotPetya, it differed significantly from previous variants and targeted crucial infrastructure including energy companies and financial institutions. Believed to be politically motivated, it coincided with Ukraine's Constitution Day. The attack was traced back to compromised software updates from MEDOC, a Ukrainian tax preparation program. This incident highlighted the evolving cyber threat landscape and the critical importance of cyber security. Are you familiar with other major cyber attacks that have raised similar concerns? When the NotPetya attack was started, MEDOC, a piece of software required for Ukrainian tax filing, was used to spread the ransomware to victim species. In order to fool people into installing the ransomware, it was disguised as an update to the well-known MEDOC program. The ransomware initially sat dormant on victims' computers, awaiting commands to activate it. This made it possible for malware to stealthily propagate across networks and infect a large number of computers. Roughly 20% of the infected computers were outside of Ukraine, most notably roughly 9% in Germany. The impact also affected PCs in firms with connection to Ukraine. Maz, a multinational logistics company, was one of the businesses that incurred large losses. Once there were enough infected systems, the attackers gave the signal to start the ransomware. The compromised PCs were then restarted with their storage disk encrypted, informing users of the encryption and requesting a payment of around 300 euros in Bitcoin in order to restore access to their systems. A message displayed on the computer screens. The difference between this ransomware and earlier instances was that paying the ransom did not result in data decryption because the ransomware was never intended to decrypt the encrypted storage drives. It permanently damaged the victim's machines and rendered their data unrecoverable. Due to the attack's unusual nature, they were reportedly roughly 10,000 US dollars in total ransoms paid. Although the entire damage including lost data and revenue was estimated to be around 10 billion US dollars. It was difficult to stop the ransomware from carrying out its devastating aim since many workplaces were understaffed when the attack which was launched on the eve of Ukraine's Independence Day began. The NotPetya attack is an amalgamation of earlier cyber attack methodologies, demonstrating a more advanced iteration of existing strategies. It employs a variety of lateral movement strategies and is named after the 2016 Petya ransomware assault due to code similarities. NotPetya also has code in common with WannaCrypt, a ransomware assault that affected the entire world in May 2017 and Mimikads, an open source program notorious for privilege escalation and credential theft. The MEDOC software, which is extensively used in Ukraine and is required by the Ukrainian government for tax reporting, is where the tax rules can be found. A fake update patch was created by the attackers after they obtained access to the MEDOC update servers and acquired vital data. The MEDOC program was subsequently installed on all PCs with this false patch. The malicious software update was distributed to all users on June 27, 2017 as per the attacker's strategy via the MEDOC servers. Although it seems to users to be a standard software update, it actually carried malware from the attackers. The malware silently started to operate in the background when consumers unwittingly downloaded and installed this false update. The malware used a variety of methods such as employing a program called Mimikads to capture administrator rights and intercept passwords. Using the credentials it had obtained, it started encrypting every file on every drive on the victim's PC. The malware set a 10-minute timer to reset the machine when the encryption process was finished, taking complete control. 
A fake error message that appeared during this time prevented users from turning off their machines. After the period ran out and the computer restarted, a ransom message appeared on the screen and demanded 300 US dollars in bitcoins to unlock the files. Due to the fact that it was never intended to decrypt the files, even after the ransom was paid, this software stood out from usual ransomware attempts. When the malware was able to access administrative functions, it overwrote the encrypted files and made them unrecoverable. The encryption keys were not given to individuals who paid the ransom even without administrative rights. Instead of gaining financial gain by holding users' files hostage, the attack's main goal was to cause the most harm. The malware erased important logs pertaining to system, setup, security and application events to further obfuscate its activity, making it difficult to track down or reverse the attack. The attack's capacity to spread laterally within networks, much like a worm, increased its sophistication and deadly effect. It used a number of strategies to spread the infected file, including stealing network credentials, reusing open network sessions, scanning connected devices, and utilizing common file sharing protocols. Additionally, it took advantage of server message block SMB, flaws known as Eternal Blue and Eternal Romance that were used in earlier attacks like WannaCrypt. By combining outdated tactics from earlier results with known weaknesses, the NotPetya attack was able to quickly spread over whole networks like a devastating worm by infiltrating user files. As a result, it has a reputation for being a highly effective and destructive type of ransomware. In today's interconnected digital landscape, cyber attacks have become an ever-present threat. The increasing reliance on technology and the internet has exposed individuals, businesses and governments to a wide range of cyber threats from phishing scams to sophisticated nation-state sponsored attacks. Preventing cyber attacks is not merely a matter of technological fortification, but a complex endeavor that involves a combination of technology, education, policy and cooperation. Here we will explore various strategies to prevent cyber attacks and create a more secure digital environment. Education and awareness a fundamental step in preventing cyber attacks is educating individuals and organizations about the risk and best practices. Cyber security awareness programs can empower users to recognize potential threats and take necessary precautions. User training Organizations should provide comprehensive training to employees and users covering topics such as identifying phishing emails, creating strong passwords, and recognizing social engineering tactics. Cyber hygiene Promoting good cyber hygiene practices such as regularly updating software using strong and unique passwords and avoiding suspicious websites and downloads can significantly reduce vulnerabilities. Public Awareness Campaigns Governments and cybersecurity organizations can launch public awareness campaigns to educate the general population about online threats and safety measures. These campaigns can include informative materials, workshops and online resources. Strong Authentication and Access Control Authentication and access control mechanisms are critical in preventing unauthorized access to systems and data. Multi-Factor Authentication MFA. Encourage the use of MFA, which requires users to provide multiple forms of identification such as a password and a one-time code sent to their mobile device before granting access. Role-Based Access Control RBAC. Implement RBAC policies to ensure that users only have access to the resources and data necessary for their roles, reducing the risk of privilege escalation in case of a breach. Regular Software Updates and Patch Management Many cyber attacks exploit known vulnerabilities in software and operating systems. Regular updates and patches are essential for preventing these attacks. Automated Patch Management Organizations should use automated systems to ensure that all software and hardware components are up to date with the latest security patches. End of life systems Legacy systems that are no longer supported by vendors should be upgraded or replaced to avoid exposure to known vulnerabilities. Network security measures Network security is a critical component of preventing cyber attacks. This includes the following Firewalls Employee firewalls to monitor and filter network traffic, blocking suspicious or unauthorized access attempts. Intrusion detection and prevention systems use IDPS to detect and respond to suspicious activities within the network, preventing unauthorized access or data exfiltration. Virtual private networks (VPNs) encourage the use of VPNs, especially for remote work, to encrypt network traffic and protect sensitive data from eavesdropping. Data Encryption 
Data encryption is an effective measure to protect sensitive information. This includes end-to-end -end encryption. Implement end-to-end -end encryption for communication and data storage to ensure that even if data is intercepted, it remains unreadable to unauthorized parties. Data masking In cases where sensitive data is stored or transmitted, Data masking techniques can be employed to hide or pseudonymize sensitive information. Incident Response and Disaster Recovery Plans Preventing cyber attacks is not always possible, so organizations should be prepared to respond effectively. This include Incident Response Plans Develop and regularly update incident response plans that outline procedures for identifying, mitigating and recovering from cyber incidents. Data Backups Regularly backup critical data and systems to ensure that, in the event of an attack, data can be restored without paying ransom or experiencing significant downtime. Vendor Security Assessment Organizations can rely on third-party vendors for various services, making vendor security assessments crucial. This includes vendor risk assessment, evaluate the cybersecurity practices of vendors and suppliers to ensure they meet security standards and do not introduce vulnerabilities into your ecosystem. Security contracts include cyber security requirements and standards in vendor contracts to hold them accountable for maintaining adequate security measures. Penetration testing and vulnerability scanning Regular testing of systems and networks can identify vulnerabilities before attackers do. Penetration testing Conduct ethical hacking exercises to assess the security of systems and discover weaknesses that need remediation. Vulnerability scanning Use automated tools to scan for known vulnerabilities and misconfigurations in systems and networks allowing for prompt remediation. Regulatory Compliance and Standards Compliance with cybersecurity regulations and adherence to industry standards can provide a strong foundation for preventing cyber attacks. Compliance Frameworks Familiarize organizations with relevant compliance frameworks such as GDPR, HIPAA, or NIST and implement necessary controls to meet compliance requirements. Cybersecurity Frameworks Adopt recognized cybersecurity frameworks such as the NIST Cybersecurity Framework or ISO 27001 to establish comprehensive security practices. International Collaboration Cyber attacks are a global concern and international collaboration is essential. Information Sharing Encourage the sharing of threat intelligence and information about cyber attacks among countries, organizations, and cybersecurity entities to enhance collective defense. Diplomatic Efforts Engage in diplomatic efforts to establish international norms and rules governing state-sponsored cyber activities to reduce the risk of nation-state cyber attacks. Conclusion Preventing cyber attacks is a multifaceted endeavor that requires a combination of technical measures, education, policy development, and international cooperation. As our digital world becomes increasingly interconnected, the importance of cybersecurity cannot be overstated. By implementing the strategies outlined here in the video, individuals, organizations, and governments can work together to create a more secure digital environment, mitigating the dangers posed by cyber attacks, and fostering a safer and more resilient cyber landscape for all. Ultimately, cybersecurity is not a one-time effort, but an ongoing commitment to safeguarding the digital future. Cybersecurity Laws Cybersecurity or cybercrime law compromises directives that safeguard information technology with the purpose of forcing companies and organizations to protect their systems and information from cyber attacks using numerous measures. Here we will take a quick look at the several types of international cyber law and cybercrime regulations in India, the US and the European Union. Cybersecurity laws in India India has four predominant laws when it comes to cybersecurity. Number 1. Information Technology Act 2000 Enacted by the Parliament of India, the Information Technology Act was made to safeguard the e-governance, e-banking and e-commerce sectors, but now its scope has been enhanced to encompass of all the latest communication devices. Number 2. Indian Penal Code IPC 1980 This Cybercrime Prevention Act has primary relevance to cyber frauds concerning identity theft and other sensitive information theft. Number 3. Companies Act 2013 With the Companies Act enacted back in 2013, the legislature ensured that all the regulatory compliances are covered including e-discovery, cyber forensics, and cyber security diligence. 
The Companies Act provides guidelines for the responsibilities of the company directors and leaders concerning confirming cyber security obligations and IST compliance. The Cyber Security Framework (NCFS) authorized by the National Institute of Standards and Technology and IST contains all the guidelines, standards and best practices necessary to responsibly address cyber security risk. Cyber security laws in the United States Federal Government Laws In the United States, there are three main federal cyber security regulations Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act HIPAA. Enacted by 104th United States Congress, the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act attempts to control and modernize medical and healthcare information flow. Graham Leach Billeley Act 1999 Enacted by 106th United States Congress, the Graham Leach Billeley Act made it mandatory for financial institutions, meaning companies that provide consumers products or services like loans, financial or investment advice or insurance to explain their information sharing practices to their customers and to safeguard their sensitive data. Homeland Security Act 2002 The Homeland Security Act included the Federal Information Security Management Act FISMA, which attempts to recognize the importance of information security to the economic and national security interest of the United States. State Government Acts State government regulations attempt to improve cybersecurity by making valuable information like organizations with weak cybersecurity known to the public. Notice of Security Breach Act 2003 After this act was enacted, companies that handled sensitive customer data such as names, credit card numbers, social security numbers, driver's license numbers, medical records, or financial information were required to publicly disclose any security or data breach that has happened within their organization. This regulation created an incentive for companies to voluntarily invest in a good portion of the budget to build a secure infrastructure to avoid potential loss of reputation. California Assembly Bill 1950 2004 This regulation was passed by the California State Legislature back in 2004 and made a requirement for companies to maintain a reasonable level of cyber security along with extending those security practices to their business partners to maintain an acceptable standard of cyber security. Proposed Regulations Other numerous bills have been proposed by the US Congress over the past few years that expand upon cyber security regulations. Consumer Data Security and Notification Act this act expands upon the Graham Leach Blaley Act by requiring financial institutions to disclose any data or security breaches. Securely Protect Yourself Against Cyber Trespass Act SPY Act The SPY Act was passed by the US House of Representatives in 2005 but died in the US Senate. It focused on phishing and spyware scams. Cyber Security Act of 2012 This act also failed to pass the US Senate when it was proposed back in 2012. It proposed anti-cyber crime law and aimed to improve the cyber security infrastructure and protect it from cyber attacks which businesses would be encouraged to adopt through incentives such as liability protection. Cyber Security National Security Action Plan CNAP, developed by President Obama in 2016, the main objective of the plan was to create awareness among the public about the growing threat of cyber crimes and inform them how they could improve and control digital security. Other Government Efforts The Federal Government of the United States has made attempts to improve cyber security by allocating more resources to research and collaborating with the private sector to declare appropriate standards and enact important cyber laws. Besides that, the government has started different awareness programs through social media to make the public more conscious of the threats of cyber crimes. Cyber Security Laws in the European Union There are four major regulations within the European Union regarding cyber security. They include ENISA, the NIS Directive, EU Cyber Security Act, and the EU GDPR, which we will briefly discuss. European Union Agency for Cyber Security ENISA is a governing agency that was set up for the purpose of raising network and information security across all internetwork operations of the EU. It was established back in 2004 with three major purposes. Number one. The recommended course of action following a security breach. Number two, number two, making policies and support for their implementation. And number three, direct support. NIS Directive 
In 2016, the European Parliament set into policy the Network and Information System (NIS) directive with the aim to generally improve cybersecurity across all networks of the EU. It focused mainly on digital service providers (DSPs) and operators of essential services (OESs). OES are organizations that are involved in critical societal or economic activities and will be severely affected by security or data breaches. Both DSPs and OES are required to report any such incident to the Computer Security Incident Response Team (CSIRT). EU Cybersecurity Act. The EU Cybersecurity Act provides a certification framework for companies across the EU regarding cybersecurity for digital products, services and processes. EU GDPR. European Union General Data Protection Regulation GDPR was established in 2016 but wasn't enforced until May 2018. The EU GDPR aims to bring a single standard for data protection among all member states in the EU. Cybersecurity issues not currently covered under federal law. As documented by the US Government Accountability Office GAO, several issues in the cybersecurity sector are still not covered under federal law. The most prominent ones include the following: Number 1 limit the collection and use of personal information and ensure that it is collected with appropriate consent. Number 2 protect the privacy of the public by improving federal efforts. Number 3 develop and implement a comprehensive federal strategy for nationwide cyber security infrastructures. Number 4 address cyber security workforce management issues and number 5 address weaknesses in the already developed federal cyber security regulations. Cyber attacks are a pervasive and evolving threat in today's digital landscape. While not exactly secrets, here are five important insights about cyber attacks that can help you better understand and address this critical issue. The dark web, a hub for cyber criminals, the dark web, a hidden part of the internet, plays a significant role in cyber crime. It provides anonymity and serves as a marketplace for cyber criminal tools, stolen data, and hacker for hire services. While the dark web is not entirely hidden from law enforcement, it remains a challenging space to police due to encryption and anonymization technologies. Zero day vulnerabilities. Zero day vulnerabilities are software flaws unknown to the vendor. Cyber attackers exploit these vulnerabilities before the software developer has a chance to release a patch. Organizations must stay vigilant and have strategies in place to respond swiftly when zero day vulnerabilities are discovered or exploited. Nation state cyber attacks governments engage in cyber warfare and espionage with nation states conducting cyber attacks against other countries for political economic or military purposes these attacks can have far reaching consequences and often involve highly sophisticated techniques ransomware as a service ras ransomware has become a lucrative business for cyber criminals Ransomware as a service is a model where criminals develop and distribute ransomware allowing others to carry out attacks on their behalf. This model has lowered the entry barrier for cyber criminals increasing the frequency of ransomware attacks. Insider threats. Insider threats involve individuals within an organization who misuse their access for malicious purposes. These threats can be more challenging to detect because insiders often have legitimate access. Employee awareness, monitoring and strong access controls are essential for mitigating insider threat. Advanced persistent threats (APTs). APTs are sophisticated long-term cyber attacks often orchestrated by nation-state actors or well-funded groups. They are highly targeted and persistent aiming to infiltrate a specific target network, gather sensitive information over an extended period and remain undetected. Detecting and mitigating APTs require advanced security measures and constant monitoring. Supply chain attacks. Cyber criminals increasingly target the supply chains of organizations by compromising suppliers or service providers. Attackers can gain access to their primary targets network. Supply chain attacks can have widespread consequences affecting numerous organizations downstream. Artificial intelligence (AI) in cyber attacks. Cyber criminals are incorporating AI and machine learning into their attack strategies. AI can be used to automate attacks, analyze vast amount of data to identify vulnerabilities, and even create convincing deep fake content for social engineering attacks. Defenders must also leverage AI for threat detection and prevention. Spear phishing. 
Spear phishing attacks are highly targeted phishing attempts that focus on specific individuals or organizations. Attackers conduct extensive research to craft convincing messages tailored to their targets, making these attacks difficult to detect. Employee training and robust email security measures are essential defenses against spear phishing. Cyber Insurance As the frequency and impact of cyber attacks increase, many organizations are investing in cyber insurance to mitigate financial losses. Cyber insurance policies vary, covering a range of expenses from data recovery to legal costs. However, relying solely on insurance is not a substitute for strong cyber security practices and risk management. Let us take you through some interesting stats. Rising Cyber Crime Cost Cyber crime is expected to cost the world $10.5 trillion annually by 2025, according to Cybersecurity Ventures. Phishing Attacks Prevalence Phishing remains one of the most common attack vectors, with over 75% of organizations reporting being targeted by phishing attacks as per the 2021 Verizon Data Breach Investigations report. Ransomware Surge Ransomware attacks increased by 150% in 2020, with the average ransom demand reaching nearly $200,000 according to Coveware. Nation-state attacks State-sponsored cyber attacks accounted for 23% of all breaches in 2020, as per the Verizon Data Breach Investigations report. Internet of Things Vulnerabilities IoT devices are increasingly targeted, with over 30% of organizations experiencing an IoT-related security incident in the past year, as reported by Poneman Institute. Data Breach Impact The average cost of a data breach is approximately $4.24 million, according to IBM's 2021 Cost of a Data Breach Report. Zero-Day Vulnerabilities Zero-Day Vulnerabilities are exploited in about one in every 14 attacks, according to Symantec's Internet Security Threat Report. Increase in Insider Threats Insider threats accounted for 31% of all cybersecurity incidents in 2020, according to the 2020 Verizon Insider Threat Report. Cybersecurity Skills Gap There will be a shortage of nearly 3.5 million cybersecurity professionals by 2021, according to ISC Square. Rise in mobile malware Mobile malware attacks increased by 50% in 2020, with a notable increase in attacks targeting Android devices, reports Checkpoint Research. Rise in mobile malware Mobile malware attacks increased by 50% in 2020, with a notable increase in attacks targeting Android devices, reports Checkpoint Research. Understanding these insights can help individuals and organizations take proactive steps to protect themselves against cyber attacks. Cybersecurity measures such as regular software updates, employee training, and threat intelligence are crucial in mitigating the risk associated with cyber threats. The Dark Web – A Breeding Ground for Cyber Criminals Layers of the Internet Surface Web – This is the part of the internet that's indexed by search engines and accessible through standard web browsers. It's where most of our online activity takes place, such as social media, online shopping, and news websites. Deep Web The Deep Web includes web pages and content that are not indexed by search engines. These may include private databases, confidential company intranets, and even your email inbox, which is protected by a password and not accessible via search engine. Dark Web The Dark Web is a small hidden portion of the Deep Web that can only be accessed through a specialized software like the Tor browser. It's intentionally designed to provide anonymity and privacy to its users, making it attractive to individuals with both legitimate and illicit intentions. Anonymity on the Dark Web The anonymity provided by the Tor network is a major draw for the Dark Web's user base. Tor routes internet traffic through a series of servers, encrypting it each step of the way. This makes it extremely challenging for anyone, including law enforcement agencies, to trace the source or destination of data. While Tor was initially developed to protect privacy and aid free speech in regressive regimes, it has also attracted cyber criminals seeking to evade detection. Marketplaces for illicit goods Dark web marketplaces operate much like their legal counterparts. They have user-friendly interfaces, ratings and reviews for vendors, and even customer support. Products available for purchase on these platforms include stolen credit card information, drugs, firearms, counterfeit passports, hacking tools, and more. The anonymity offered by the dark web makes it difficult for authorities to shut down these marketplaces and apprehend those behind them. Hacker for Hire Services 
The Dart web also hosts forums and websites where individuals can hire hackers for various tasks. These tasks can range from hacking into personal email accounts to launching more sophisticated attacks such as distributed denial of service (DDoS) attacks on websites or networks. This marketplace for cyber crime services makes it easier for individuals with little technical knowledge to access the skills of experienced hackers. Data breach dumps when major data breaches occur Cyber criminals often sell the stolen data on the dark web. This includes personal information, credit card details, login credentials and more. Purchasers of this data can use it for identity theft, financial fraud or even to gain unauthorized access to individuals online accounts. Money laundering and cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are commonly used for transactions on the dark web due to their pseudonymous nature. Criminals leverage cryptocurrencies to launder money earned through illegal activities, making it challenging for authorities to trace the flow of funds and identify those involved. Conclusion: Tackling the dark web challenge. The dark web remains a complex and challenging space for law enforcement and cyber security experts. Its decentralized and anonymized nature makes it difficult to combat cyber crime effectively. To address this issue, International collaborations, increased cybersecurity measures and tighter regulations on cryptocurrency transactions are essential steps. Understanding the dark web's intricacies is crucial as it allows us to develop better strategies for combating cyber crime and protecting individuals and organizations from the threats that emanate from this hidden realm. Let's have a look at the best practices for protecting your personal data online. In our increasingly digital world, Personal data has become a valuable commodity. From online shopping and social media to banking and healthcare, we entrust various platforms with our sensitive information. However, this convenience comes with risk. To ensure the safety and privacy of your personal data online, it's crucial to follow best practices. In this part, we will explore effective strategies for safeguarding your personal information in the digital age. Number 1, strong and unique passwords. Password length Aim for passwords that are at least 12 characters long. Longer passwords are more secure. Complexity. Use a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and special characters. Avoid common words. Refrain from using easily guessable information like birthdays, names or dictionary words. Unique passwords. Never reuse passwords across multiple accounts. Each account should have its own distinct password. Password manager. Consider using a reputable password manager to generate, store, and autofill complex passwords for you. Examples include LastPass, Dashlane, and OnePassword. Enable two-factor authentication (2FA). Types of 2FA: Choose from various 2FA methods such as SMS codes, authentication apps (example Google Authenticator or Authy) or hardware tokens. Critical accounts enable two-factor authentication for your most important accounts like email, banking and social media. This extra layer of security makes it significantly harder for hackers to gain access. Regularly update software and apps. Automatic updates enable automatic updates for your operating system, software and applications whenever possible. This ensures that you receive security patches promptly. Stay informed Subscribe to notifications or newsletters from software providers to stay informed about security updates and potential vulnerabilities. Beware of phishing scams. Email verification. Verify the authenticity of email senders, especially if they request sensitive information or actions. Check URLs. Check URLs. Hover your mouse pointer over links in emails to preview the destination URL. Be cautious if the URL looks suspicious. legitimate contact when in doubt contact the supposed sender directly example your bank rather than clicking on email links for example your bank rather than clicking on email links use secure wifi connections public wifi avoid conducting sensitive transactions or accessing personal accounts on the public wifi networks cyber criminals can intercept data on open networks use a vpn Consider using a virtual private network (VPN) when connecting to public Wi-Fi. VPNs encrypt your internet traffic, enhancing security. 
regularly review privacy settings social media review and adjust your privacy settings on social media platforms to limit the amount of personal information visible to others app permissions periodically review app permissions on your smartphone and revoke unnecessary access to personal data be cautious with personal information oversharing avoid oversharing personal information on social media cyber criminals can use such information to craft convincing scams online forms only provide personal information when necessary and ensure that websites are secure and be sure that it contains https dot slash slash in the url monitor your financial statements regular checks review your bank credit card and financial statements regularly if you spot any unauthorized transactions report them immediately to your financial institution backup your data regular backups maintain secure and up to date backups of important files and data cloud services or external hard drives can be used for this purpose educate yourself stay informed keep yourself updated about the latest cyber security threats scams and best practices by following reputable cyber security news sources and educational resources training consider participating in cyber security awareness training programs especially if you are responsible for the security of an organization in conclusion protecting your personal data online requires a combination of strong security practices and ongoing vigilance cyber threats are constantly evolving so it's essential to stay proactive and informed by implementing these best practices you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to cyber attacks and data breaches safeguarding your privacy and online security in the digital age that's all for today folks take care of yourself give us your thoughts on this in the comment section and if you appreciate our content please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel share this video with your family and friends we'll meet again soon in a new video